Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. We're looking at the big one, the 628 amp hour, 12.8 volt Ultra from Watt Cycle, and this is the Smart Edition. It does have Bluetooth. Now, I checked the Bluetooth before I uh, started doing the charge here. And you can hear the generator running. I'm running it off the generator. And that's because I was asked earlier about this. How much does this 80 amp charger use? Well, here it is. 1,236 watts. And so I couldn't run it off of my van system. It would uh, trip the 2,000 watt um, inverter every time I turned it on. So it wouldn't handle it. So I'm charging it with the generator right now because it's going to be another 100 degree plus day, and I do really don't want to uh, run my cabin batteries down running this charger all day. So I'm going to monitor this on my um, smartphone from inside with the air conditioning running. And I'll post every now and then to add to this video to show you what's going on. Now before I pause here, I want to say one other thing. Uh, yesterday's announcement, special announcement, was uh, uh, premature. I did double check on it, like I said I was going to, and it, it, they didn't mean that they were going to give away a second battery, they were going to um, upgrade the battery from a standard uh, 12 volt 100 amp hour to a 12 volt 100 amp hour smart battery with Bluetooth. So I don't know if they're still going to do that for Sherry the secretary or not, but uh, I'm sure she'll let us know if they do. In the meantime, um, cancel any idea of another live show and another battery giveaway. Um, next time I'll make sure I verify all the facts before I make any announcements. So my apologies to everybody, but I did say from the beginning you know, that I did have to verify it all. So that's it. Here's the numbers on the charger right now. Charging uh, the battery at 13.6 volts, 81.4 amps, and 5.2 amp hours already gone into it in four minutes. So it's going to take a while to charge that battery up. And like I said, I'll check in with you every now and then and let you know where we're at. Stand by. All right, everybody, I'm back. I had to shut everything down. Uh, I forgot I ran the generator most of the day yesterday, and I didn't buy gas on my way home today. I did fuel up the van, but that uses E85, not unleaded gasoline, so I can't take any out of the van to run the generator. So I'll have to wait to finish charging it tomorrow. I think it was in the 70 percentage, 74% uh, or somewhere around there when I shut it down. But it was way too hot out here to be charging this anyway. I noticed that everything was getting warm, even the battery was warm on top. So I just shut it all down. I said, I'll do it again. We're supposed to have a cool down coming and uh, I'll get this thing fully charged. But look at the size of this thing, 8,038 watt hours in that one battery. Now look at the size of my hand compared to the battery. <laughs> it's a big battery and it's heavy so it's, it's over 160 pounds so I'm gonna need help getting it out well I don't really need help getting it out I just need help getting it out of the box I can lift 160 pounds <laughs> in my younger days I could I wouldn't try it nowadays I'd probably end up sleeping outside with that as a, a blanket on top of me uh, anyway, wait, you didn't get a cookie? Eh. 
How about you, lady? Oh, Limpy wants a cookie. Oh, here comes another one for a cookie. All right, everybody's got cookies. All right, so I'm going to close everything up, go get this thing uh, edited together, and uh, I'm going to call it a day, even though it isn't a day. I'm going to call it a day because it looks like a day. How do you know it looks like a day? Because <laughs> I've seen Doris. Hey, you got yourself a cookie there, huh? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to chase you out of the way. I just got to get over here and shut off the fan. I sure cut it close there. Yeah, I got plenty in the uh, battery power in here. That's the big foam that came on top of that battery. Uh, and my glove box. I'm working on the air conditioning. And I wasn't too happy with the outcome on that because all the uh, stuff I found in my research pointed to the same thing being wrong. And everybody who did the change out on it got instant repair. And then I did the same exact thing and made sure I followed the instructions. And I'm not getting the repair I want. Uh, the one thing that's is the aggravating part about it I'm sorry if the wind is bothering you is that uh, when I bought the part that's bad I bought it probably two or three months ago and uh, I just wasn't ready to try it, to attempt to change it out because it's a uh, not an easy thing to do so anyway the uh, part when he brought it out of the back room was in an open box and I just figured it's because they opened the box to show somebody what it looked like or something like that well I now suspect that somebody you know how some, some people are crooked somebody may have bought the part changed it out in their vehicle put the bad part back in the box and brought it back or they hooked it up wrong and and caused damage to it and brought it back and said they didn't want to do it or something like that because that's the only thing I can figure out as to why the repair didn't work so what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to go back to the same store that I bought that one at. I'm going to buy another one. I'm going to take it outside. It only takes a minute if I've got everything open and ready to access it. I just have to unplug two um, hoses and plug two hoses back on, start the engine, and see if it works. If a new part works properly, then I'm going to take both parts back inside and tell the guy this is the first one you sold me I paid for it this is the second one you sold me I paid for it the first one you sold me in the open box was damaged it didn't work so I came here buy another one just to prove to myself that it was the part that you sold me the first time and see if they're be honorable enough to refund me the the cost of at least one of them because I don't mind paying for one I don't want one for free but I do want what I paid for that's all I ask so anyway that's it everybody I'm gonna pack this all together and get it posted now remember the uh, special announcement yesterday that's been nixed. There is no future contest. There is an extended um, member drive on Watt Cycles uh, website. So you can go there to their official website and um, get some pretty good discounts. And if you want to buy anything and you want an 8% discount, use the code 
G Bear 8. G B E A R 8. All capitals. Except the 8. You don't have to capitalize the 8. <laughs> but it's all one word. G B E A R 8. All caps. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. This is G Bear signing off.